Think of your essay as a delicious steak sandwich. In this scenario, your body paragraphs are the meat. So that's where you want to pack in the flavor and prove your argument. Body paragraphs are the bulk of your essay. But don't worry, there's a pretty simple recipe that can help you organize and develop your thoughts and show the graders that you've got the goods. Let's take a look at that recipe. Each body paragraph should contain the topic sentence, an evaluation of the argument, a consideration of the consequences, and a real-world example. Let's start with the topic sentence, which really serves as the headline for your paragraph. It will introduce the topic while transitioning the reader from the previous paragraph. In our sample essay, the topic sentence is, first, one perspective states that celebrities actually do more harm than good when they push a potentially uninformed position on a social issue. This sentence gets the job done because the word first serves as an obvious but effective transition. Next, the writer introduces an argument set forth by one of the supplied perspectives. Now the graders have no doubt about the topic of the paragraph. Okay, we've introduced our argument. Now let's take a look at the next sentence. Here is where you will need to evaluate the argument that the perspective is making. If you agree with the perspective, focus on the argument's strengths. If you completely disagree, point out all of the flaws in the argument. But make sure to compare or contrast the argument with your own personal point of view. Let's see what this looks like in the sample essay. I agree that famous people should not push their views, but some celebrities may be well informed about an important issue. What then? I believe that even then, they still have an obligation not to share their views because their fame is unrelated to this knowledge. In this case, the author agrees with the perspective. Notice how the sentence ends with a question, which is then answered in the following sentence. That's a great device to show the graders that you've considered all possible angles on the issue at hand. Now let's focus on the potential consequences of the perspective. Ask yourself, if this perspective is correct, what might be some of the logical consequences? The example in the sample essay is, this would lead to a space in which only those who are known because they are knowledgeable, a distinguished scientist, for instance, would speak on important issues rather than a confusing chaos of opposing views pushed by famous actors or writers. When you consider the consequences, you demonstrate to the graders that you've thought about the ideas put forth in the perspective and extended those ideas to a logical conclusion. The last step is to include a real-world example. If you brainstorm thoroughly before starting to write, you'll have this ready to go. The example in this sample essay is, Last year, many celebrities participated in the Ice Bucket Challenge, which encouraged people to donate to cure ALS, a great cause. But this intense focus on one charity may have made it more difficult for other important charities to raise what they needed, which could have been avoided had a more informed voice spoken about the importance of giving to many different causes. It's always important to be able to see both sides of any argument, and especially so when writing your ACT essay. This statement does a good job of demonstrating that. Now that you've identified the best ways to create body paragraphs, Let's talk about the way they should be organized within your essay. The best order for your body paragraphs is body paragraph one, the perspective with which you agree most. Then body paragraph two, the perspective with which you have partial or mild disagreement. And finally, body paragraph three, the perspective with which you disagree most. This order will give your essay a logical flow and also show that you have an organizational strategy Remember, organization will be a big part of your score, so this will not only help you write easily, but will also help to improve your overall writing score.